hey guys what is up how's it going today i'm gonna start with a new video like how to do some reverse proxy using cyber panel so before getting started we need to make sure that we have some couple of things running so first thing is need to create a new domain and a new subfolder if in case of that and i have created a subdomain in my case and also once I have created a new website, I'm going to log into my server and I'm inside my folder where that files are going to be hosted in this uh, domain. I have already pasted some uh, application files that is I'm going to run some Ruby application in this folder particular folder. So these are some of the files I'm going to do. So I'm going to say rake db. I'm so sorry. Rake db run. So now I'm running my application. If I try to access this, it says 403 forbidden since it's not map to this uh, domain we need to do some configuration changes that is the we need to add some reverse proxy kind of thing let me get into the cyber panel you need to log into your cyber panel and uh, select your domain and click on manage once inside your this section you need to go to the vhost config here we need to make some couple of changes over here first you need to make sure that your document root directory is this exactly the Ruby folder which I have created and we need to add couple of things over here below the script handler or anywhere if you want you can add it so first we need to add this uh, ext processor and a handler name Ruby app so here if you see the address there is this localhost 9292 the same port which is running over here and once you add this you need to make changes to your script handler this is the lightspeed server api and you need to pass your handler name over here that is the ruby app once this is done we should also add some rewrite rules for example you need if you want to force the https connection and also you need to force the rewrite rule for the ruby app that is the handler which we are going to pass it over here once this is done you if you want you can also add a context and you can also add some handler and ruby app over here this is the handler handler name and once after adding these changes click on save once this is done and uh, once this is successfully saved the configuration changes we can go back to the the subdomain which i have created if you can see it over here this is actually working so now it has successfully the local port has been mapped to this domain that is what is known as reverse proxy in technical jargons so let me try this is working this should actually work because there's this get post request being fired so that's it guys that's it and this is what i want to share it with you how to do some reverse proxy with cyber panel and uh, host your own applications with angular react and blah 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 whatever it is Thank you. Peace out.